spoiler warnings for the following anime. Welcome to reviewing anime transformations. I am your handsome and delicious host Mick, and in this video we are breaking down Asta's first demon transformation from Black Clover. After researching and analyzing these other shonen, I have concluded that a demon transformation need these essential 10 transformation features. Starting off with number one, Inner Demon Chit Chat. The audience and the characters finally get an inkling of the source of this power that lingers inside the protagonist. We see this famously in the anime Naruto, where he has multiple demon chit chats with the Nine Tails. These demons are typically Sundere. In the beginning, these demons act like assholes, and they always create a condition to using their powers, but by at least episode 329, the demon and host become best friends and make out with each other. Many other anime that involves demons have very similar scenes with the characters being transported into a creepy void world as they chit chat with this powerful and mysterious figure, which usually takes place in their mind. And if my therapist has taught me anything, that's f***ing psychotic. Black Clover really nails this one down, with a solid introduction to Asta's demon and a fun little chit chat on display. Tell me what's going on right now! However, I would have liked to see a more interesting environment for this scene to take place in, like Sukuna's Bone Throne or Naruto's Sex Dungeon. But in Black Clover, the director was all like, Akagaisuke des. For this, I give Black Clover's Inner Demon Chit Chat an 8 out of 10. The second feature a demonic anime transformation must have is teasing to 100%. The coolest and most exciting part of a demon transformation is, for me, always a resulting appearance. As a kid, I always tried to draw a cool anime demon transformation, but they always turned out like shit. And it's clearly not because I'm a bad artist or anything like that. My drawings are great, but the thing missing here is the teasing to full completion. What I mean by this is, you can't give the full powerful form of the demon straight away. You've got to work your way up to it, really teasing the audience. A good demon transformation gives the audience multiple orga- I mean, multiple forms. Here, Naruto exhibits a brilliant mix of his human form and Ninetales form. First, we get this tease of Naruto using the Kyubi Chakra, and by the end of the series, he becomes Super Saiyan Ninja, while also having multiple forms in between. As his power increases, his control of the Ninetales does as well, and the sexier his form becomes, arguably. A perfect example of teasing to 100%. Checking out Asta's first touch of his demon powers, it's clear that he is still in the foreplay stage. This design is the perfect tease for a stage 1 demon transformation. He's got some nip showing, but not too much nip, just enough. Yeah. He also looks like a badass while looking like his human self, and you really can't go wrong with wings. But again, this is just a tease, so we only get one wing. And of course, we all know, by the end of the series, there's gonna be two wings, that's for sure. A 10 out of 10 on teasing to 100%. Number three, CAD. Every demon transformation needs a little CAD, which is an acronym for cringy ass dialogue. A demon transformation is not complete without the main character saying some cringy ass bullshit, like, I'm magic. Never up. Why does it need cringy ass dialogue? Well, that's because it is a shonen. And while some people think shonen is a genre of manga and anime aimed at young lads, in actuality, shonen is derived from the word shown English, which in ancient Japanese, shown English means cringy ass English dub. Don't Google that. Cringy ass dubbed anime do have an awkward charm to them, as these cringe lines really fit in with the narrative of a 5 foot 15 year old saving the world, if you think about it. Believe it. Therefore, elevating the scene. Black Clover has multiple cringe lines just in this episode alone. This is out of character. So I give Black Clover an 11 out of 10 for cringy ass dialogue. CAD. Let's make it a thing. Hashtag CAD on every cringe anime moment. Forward it to Twitter. Put it on Twitter. Number four, flashbacks. Every rageful demon transformation always comes with some sort of flashback about the main character's deep and untreated trauma. Whether it's Naruto flashbacking about being picked on by bitch ass ninjas, or Ichigo thinking about how he never got to smash, it is a must have feature for a rageful demon transformation. And yes, Black Clover has a trippy kaleidoscope style flashback, which I give an eight out of 10 for its uniqueness, but not the full 10, because it hurts my eyes a little bit. Number five, lightning. This is not specific to demon transformations, but every anime transformation needs lightning. I do not care what you say. Lightning is cool and essential. 10 out of 10 lightning for Black Clover. 
Number 6. Talk no Jitsu, also known as Reconciliation. After such a rageful demonic transformation that typically results in a personality change and an out-of-body experience, by the end of the battle, the main character calms down to reconcile with the villain and they become best friends and make out. This act again made famous by Naruto. A clear example of this we can see in Naruto Shippuden, where Naruto talk no Jitsu's this incel after he just finished massacring his village. Naruto and the incel become best friends right before he dies. And of course, they made out. We also have the reverse talk no jutsu, where instead of just reconciling with the villain, the protagonist gets their own talk no jutsu to help bring them back to their normal selves. However, talk no jutsu doesn't always work. We see this in Bleach. Ishida tries to reverse talk no jutsu with Ichigo, as he's completely embraced his raging demon form because he remembered he never got to smash. Ichigo is all like, talk no jutsu, and absolutely decks this nerd. Now let's see if talk no jutsu fails or succeeds in Black Clover. You must be crazy! Hell to the ground Someone somebody. like you is headed straight to the top. That's for sure. Wow, that's a lot of reconciling with a guy that just tried to murder you and your friends. But okay then. So I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Number 7. And of course, a demon transformation needs even more lightning. That's a 10 out of 10 for Black Clover. Number 8. Confused characters. It is not a good demon transformation if all participants involved aren't confused as f asking dumb f questions and literally doing nothing to help the situation. What's happening with Naruto? I can't describe it. Now, let's check out the characters in Black Clover. Something isn't right here. Yeah, did Asta growing a wing give it away or was it him brushing off a hole through the heart? Either way, that's a 10 out of 10 and you're stupid. Number 9. Triggered by a hole. Our next demon transformation feature is something easily overlooked, but is essential. This is, of course, a hole through the main character. A hole, for some reason, triggers the demonic transformation in many of these characters. Ichigo got a hole in his chest, Naruto got a hole against Sasuke, and then multiple holes when fighting pain. And check out this massive hole he gets. And of course, Asta gets a stylish hole in himself as well. Too bad Ace didn't have a demon in him. Hashtag bring back Ace. On every Ace video, put a hashtag bring back Ace. That's an 8 out of 10 for Asta's small dark hole. And finally, the most important feature of any transformation is at least one shoe. If you have seen my last video, I make it pretty clear why a Shonen MC needs at least one shoe when transforming. But to briefly re-explain why a protagonist needs at least one shoe, it's because uh, uh, they need it. Look, Goku got shoe, Luffy got shoe, Gon got sh I mean, Naruto has a shoe, Yurameshi has a shoe, and of course, Asta has at least one shoe. There is a clear pattern here. So, 10 out of 10 for at least one shoe. Very sexy. To summarize my thoughts on Black Clover's demon transformation, I have to say, it's a pretty damn good attempt that is hindered by only a few odd choices. These are the episodes that have iconic moments. So, they must have solid animation. It's rare to see good animation and bad animation at the same time. Maybe the only other case being Naruto vs. Pain, which had more to do with the art style being divisive amongst fans. During these intense scenes of a shonen transformation, the transformation is typically forced by a powerful and seemingly impossible villain to surpass. Examples, Goku was never going to beat Freezer without turning Super Saiyan, and Gon was never going to defeat the rabbit without turning into a bodybuilder, and surely Asta had to transform to defeat this guy? A MILLION LASERS! This guy sucks. Who is this guy? Ladros. Oh, thanks. Asta's transformation would have been a lot cooler if faced off with a more threatening and likable antagonist, not f***ing Padros. Ah, please no! I guess what I'm trying to say is that Black Clover drops the ball on the hidden 11th feature, the impossible villain, resulting in a 5 out of 10. But all in all, a pretty solid demon transformation. Now, all we have to do is add up the scores. There's a 10, plus 11, and a, f and a 5, and you carry the 5. It's about a 7 out of 10 for Black Clover. Very good score, good stuff. So do you have this big dramatic transformation? Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want more videos like it, please consider liking and subscribing. And please don't forget, Daisuke da yo.